Hi, I'm Adela and I run a small hair factory. Listen, your hair doesn't need prayers and three products to survive a brush. Let's be honest, you shouldn't need to warm up before detangling. Let me explain why your hair tangles. Hair has cuticles. Think of them as tiny scales running down each strand of hair. They all point in one direction. The direction your hair grows from your scalp. Are you still with me? Good. When your hair is collected properly from a single donor, cut in a ponytail, those cuticles stay aligned. They all face the same way. So when you comb your hair, they glide past each other. Smooth, no resistance, no arm workout. But most here on the market today, collected from salon floors, drains, brushes, basically anywhere hair falls. Random strands from random heads all mixed together. Sounds glamorous, right? No! Those cuticles are pointing in every which way. Some up, some down, some sideways. It's chaos in there. Now imagine strands of cuticles going in opposite directions, rubbing against each other every time you move, every time you comb your hair, every time you sleep, every time you breathe. That friction is your matting. That's your tangling. That's your second job every morning. And nobody's paying you for overtime, sis. So what happens next to all of this hair that's been collected from drains and the floor? The hair gets dipped in acid to strip the cuticles off completely so that they won't tangle at first. Then it's coated in silicone, so it feels smooth when you're about to buy it. It feels like a dream for about only two washes. And then the coating comes off. And then you're left with damaged, dry, lifeless hair that tangles because the structure has been destroyed. The plot twist that nobody asked for. Della's hair comes from donors. One person, one ponytail, cuticles intact and aligned exactly how they grew. Nothing has been stripped, nothing is coated, nothing is fake. That's why when we comb through the hair, it glides very smoothly. It's not a technique, it's not luck, it's just science. Follow for more.